I'm super duper excited because you know what? We are going to be doing my natural hair tag. <laughs> So um, I came across this, it's my hair tag questions, asking questions about your natural hair, some questions actually. So I've been wanting to make a video, a similar video to what I'm about to do today. And when I came across this natural hair tag, I was like, okay, since this is similar to what I wanted to share with you guys, I decided to make this video to answer some of the questions they asked. So yeah, make sure you watch this video to the end because I'm going to be tagging you. Yes, you. Yeah, so with me here, I have the questions and I have about 19 questions to answer here. So without wasting much of our time, let's get straight into the questions. So the number one question says, why did you start your hair journey? Actually, <laughs> this is kind of a long story, but I'm going to try to make it short. When I was in Nigeria, I never make my hair myself. I don't used to make my hair. Whenever I feel like I need to make my hair, I would go to my hairdresser and she will make my hair for me. I don't use to make my hair. The only thing I can do to my hair is just to wash it, um, maybe put it in a bun or use a thread and just divide it into four and put my hair into African thread and just in four parts. That's the only thing. <laughs> I would say I can do to my hair then I cannot conroll my hair I can't I can braid my hair but you know I can't do yeah, at the back session it will be a real struggle so I would normally go to her and she will make my hair for me but here in Italy I find it difficult I, 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 I couldn't find anyone to make my hair for me it was a real struggle getting someone to make my hair for me I like the only person that could make my hair is living far away from me so I, I it was really challenging for me at a point I got discouraged like because you know this our natural hair can be really really stubborn you know what I'm saying I have a really stubborn hair but not anymore like back though in those days i used to have a really stubborn hair like when i'm combing my hair i will literally be shouting like seriously so i didn't know what to do it was a very big struggle for me i i just decided to cut my hair i i cut all of my hair just to have peace of mind i don't want anything that would disturb me i don't want anything bothering me so but I started watching other naturalistas making their hairs hair on YouTube. I was like, if these people can make their hair themselves, why can't I make my hair? <laughs> it's as simple as that. I, I watched them. I I got the technique and I started making my hair. Like it, it was not even a struggle anymore. It, I, I didn't find it difficult making my hair myself. I was like, wow, this is super easy it's not that hard as people might think it's not honestly it's not so that was how i started my own hair journey taking good care of my hair making my hair myself like <laughs> the first day i tried it i was all over the place i was so happy that i could make my hair myself so that was how i started my hair journey and i decided to you know incorporate it here on my channel teaching you guys how I make my hair and some some things I do to my hair so yeah that was how I started my natural hair journey so the second question says how long have you been on your hair journey actually I've been on my hair journey for two years and three months now yes two years and three months the third question says are you natural relaxed or transitioning obviously as you can see i'm natural <laughs> so the fourth question says what is your length right now see the length of my hair so you can see here this hair somewhere there this side there from the front 
section of my hair. Just about my jaw length. And then on the middle section. Then from the back, same thing. Yeah, so that's my hair thing. The fifth question says, What is your Go length. My go length, I would say, is when I wash my hair, when it's um, at that drunken stage, I want my hair length to be somewhere around my bra straps. Yeah. Sixth question What is your hair texture? My hair texture, I would say, is um, I have a fussy hair. As you can see, I have a fussy hair. Number seven question says health or length. I will choose health over length because if I do take good care of my hair properly, if I do healthy things on my hair, my hair is actually going to grow to that length that I want. So I will choose health over length. Next question, if you could only live with one product, what would it be? One product. One product. <laughs> one product. What would it be? My God. This is, this is hard for me to answer. I don't even know what to choose. Should I say my shampoo? Should I say conditioner? I don't know. Okay. My, my, my conditioner. Yeah, any conditioner that will, that will rinse my hair, deep condition my hair, leave-in conditioner, just all in one conditioner will do for me. Yeah. Ninth question. What's the worst product you've ever used? Well, I've not used any worst product. None that I could remember right now. No, I have not. Um... Tenth question says, what is your go-to hairstyle? My favorite and my go-to hairstyle is my African threading. Like I said before, when I was in Nigeria, the only thing I could do to my hair is to thread my hair. Yeah, like that's my go-to style. Because you know why? Why I said this is because when I put my hair on that African threading and then the day I will lose it, my hair will be so stretched because I hate shrinkage. <laughs> yeah, don't judge me. I know shrinkage is real. I know it's it's a sign that your hair is healthy. But trust me, I hate shrinkage. I don't like to see my hair wet. <laughs> I don't like to see my hair shrunken. Like I hate shrinkage, so I would always go for that African thread just because it, it gives me that length that I want when I losing it up. So yeah, that's my go-to hairstyle. The 11th question says, are you a product junkie? No, I've not tried um, too many products on my hair. And uh, yeah, I just do it what I have. Very simple and it works for me. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a product junkie. I'm not. Twelfth question says, how often do you trim your hair? Well, the last time I trimmed my hair was last year. Thirteenth question says, how often do you use heat? Well, I don't use heat more often. And the last time I used heat on my hair was last year when I blow dried my hair. And I have a video on that as well. So that was the last time I blow dried my hair. And I think I've blow dried my hair two or three times. It's no more than three times since I went natural. 14th question says, do you take hair supplements? No, I don't take hair supplements. And I don't think I will take any hair supplements in future. I don't think so. Because if I do the right things, if I eat healthy and do the right things on my hair, 
my hair will you know grow and my hair will grow healthier and stronger and longer so I don't think I will be taking any hair supplements 15th question what's your favorite oil my favorite oil right now is olive oil I would say if I want to uh, pre pull my hair olive oil is my go-to I used to use coconut oil but I found out that the olive oil penetrates my hair shaft more than the coconut oil so I stopped using it to pre pull my hair um yeah that's my favorite oil for pre pre 16th question says who is your hair crush my hair crush I don't think I have I don't think I have anyone I'm, cr I'm crushing on right now no I don't have a hair crush 17th question says how long does it take you on a wash day hmm on a wash day I would stay probably um, one to two hours depending depending if I'm if I'm going to be washing deep conditioning styling and all of that then it's it's probably going to take me two hours 18th question says worst thing that has happened to your hair that's what's the worst thing that has happened to my hair the worst thing I would say is the day I applied a relaxer on this gorgeous hair the day I applied relaxer the day I oh my god I regretted it like I told you I used to have a really strong my hair is very hard to manage I got so tired I got so fed up I went and relaxed my hair I was like I'm not going to do this anymore I'm going to relax my hair so that I can have my freedom what is all this how can someone be <laughs> How can someone have this type of hair? Eh? Why is my own hair? Why is my hair so hard and difficult to manage? I went and relaxed my hair, and life was much easier. But my hair stopped growing. <laughs> my hair stopped growing. Started falling off. It wasn't growing. It was. I don't know what to say. At, at some point, it started falling off. I was so pissed, I was so mad at my hair, I went and cut off all my hair. Like that was the worst thing I've ever done to this hair. I'm not going to relax my hair again, never ever will I relax this hair again, no, I'm not. 19th question which is the final question says, do you dye your hair? If so what color me me dye my hair for what now for what why i want dye my hair why should i dye my hair like tell me why should i dye my hair for what reason i don't see any reason why i should dye my hair seriously i am not dying my hair god saw me and he knew that this color was going to fit me he gave me black as my hair color so why would i want to go and dye my hair for i don't understand it i don't dyeing my hair is going to damage my hair and it's not even proper it's, it, it's not even proper dyeing your hair with some color and chemical i don't i don't get it when people dye their hair well this one is a free world anyone can do what he or she wants but for me i don't see myself dyeing my hair seriously i'm not dyeing my hair so finally i was asked to tag people who do i tag <clears throat> do you want to know who i am tagging on this Okay, I have them listed here as you can see. They are all listed. So the number one, the first person I'm going to be tagging is I'm Cooking and Lifestyle with Tessie, Simply Natural, Kenny Olapade, Naturalistic Me, Lynn Afia Clump Maker, Abby and Baby, Mazin's Corner. I don't know if I pronounced it well, but yeah, I'm tagging you guys 
um, if you are a naturalista, that's if you are on a natural hair journey, you've not done this tag and I didn't mention your name here, feel free to do the tag. It's fun as you can see. Just do the tag and yeah, make sure you take care of your hair. Make sure you do healthy things, do the right things on your hair and trust me, your hair is going to grow. Your hair is going to thank you. You're going to start loving your hair. I don't see any reason why one should relax her hair. Like if you do the right things on your hair, you will never ever want to relax your hair. This our natural hair is so gorgeous, it's so beautiful, it's so admirable, it's so lovely. God gave us this hair and our hair is our pride. So we have to do healthy things for us to achieve that type of hair we want. So this is my little advice um, to you all out there if you are if you are trying to um, transition or you are transitioning already or you want to go natural natural hair is not as hard as people think it is it, it's not actually if I can do it myself if I, if I can do my hair if I can make my hair myself you can as well it, it just for you to practice learn and practice and you will see yourself loving and embracing your natural hair natural hair is so gorgeous I love my natural hair seriously I'm not saying this to please you I know what I'm saying I love my natural hair. to have a healthy hair you got to do healthy things consistently consistently <laughs> so I'll leave you guys with that word all right see you guys in my next video take care of yourself take care of your hair bye